Hi, hi. I, I'm Jim. I'm Elizabeth. And this is the St. John Wine Times. The St. John Wine Times. So today on the St. John Wine Times, uh, for a change, we're going to do some Dubonnet. Dubonnet. That's what we're going to review today. Jim, what is Dubonnet? Well, Liz, I didn't know myself until about 20 seconds ago, but according to the bottle, Dubonnet is a wine-based aperitif. Seriously? It is. Huh. Dubonnet is something that's good to drink before dinner if you want to get your appetite up. Kind of like a port or a sherry. Uh, in some ways. In some ways. In some ways. I don't know. I always think of my grandmother when I think of Dubonnet. She drank a lot of Dubonnet. Grammy likes Dubonnet. Well, not a lot of Dubonnet. Not like no. that. Can, you know, normal amounts. Yeah. Respectable amounts of Dubonnet. Only at Christmas. Only when Dad offers it to her. Dad also drinks Dubonnet. At Christmas. I've heard it's a girly drink. What should I make of this? Seems not to be, though. Seems not to be, because our dad drinks it, and our dad he's, is not He's a not girl. girly. No. No. Okay, so... So this um, doesn't seem to have a brand name. It seems that no. Duvenet just is a form of... What are you doing? Just having a drink. Okay. Um... Well, anyway, I, I don't... I'm just saying it might corrupt your palate a little bit. Oh, is that what you think? Or confuse your palate. Well, maybe it's just reminding my palate what real wine tastes like before we go for some Dubonnet. Okay, that's okay. one way of looking at it. That is. So anyway, um, by the looks of it, Dubonnet is just a sort of generic thing. Uh, there's a cat on the bottle, and uh, it says it's a product of France. And what, uh, what it says we should expect here... So created in Paris in 1846 by Joseph Dubonnet, huh. today this aperitif captures the eternal appeal of the French art de vivre. Art de vivre. True to its original and secret recipe, Dubonnet is made from Grenache, musket of Alexandria, and Carignan wait, grapes. Wait, wait, wait. There's guns in there? So it would seem. Musket of Alexandra. Yep. Alexandra's musket went into this? Probably ground it up and put it right in. Let's backtrack for a minute to that cat. I think everybody out there watching the St. John Wine Times would probably like to see the cat on the bottle. <coughs> Pretty cute, huh? Harmoniously blended with quinquina, orange rind, unroasted coffee beans, and other secret spices. The cellar master, heir to an ancestral savoir faire, meticulously blends Dubonnet, which is then, in keeping with tradition, aged in oak casks. Hmm. Dubonnet may be enjoyed on its own, chilled over ice, in cocktails, or in a long drink. Well, we asked our dad, who's not girly, how you should drink Dubonnet. He said, take a green glass, fill it with a couple of ice cubes, and pour. I don't know if you can see... That's that's green. It's really green. Might not show up on the uh, on the screen there. All right, uh, let's let's try this. And we've chosen to drink it with ice today. There you go. All right. Un peu de glace. Ah. French. Dubonnet. It's French. Yeah. Now how? Uh... Okay. That's. Uh... It smells a little bit like Coke. Yeah, it smells a bit like cherry Coke. Not that I ever drank that. And it's and this definite odor of the freezer, coming, mm. probably coming from yeah, probably from, from the, the ice. ice cubes. Yeah, that's the ice cubes terroir. Maybe you'd like to explain what a terroir is to the to the people. Terroir is both a substantive noun and an idea. Terroir means literally the land from which something comes. But it also, in reference to wine, alcohol, and booze, refers to the history, the accumulation of knowledge, the work put in, the tradition, the relationship that a vintner has to the grapes. All of this can be smelled in these ice cubes. You smell, you smell the ground. Mm. It's, there's been a frost. Yeah. It's 
clearly winter time uh, when these ice cubes were harvested. Coke in the freezer. Coke in the freezer. That's right. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's give her a taste. Wait a minute. What? Did you note that cherry? That those cherry notes in there? I didn't note that. Maybe I was wrong. All right. All right. I'm ready. You know, <clears throat> the way cough syrup used to taste? It makes me think of children's Tylenol. Cherry cough syrup. Cherry, yeah, children's Tylenol was based on the cherry flavor. Mm. And I didn't even have any white wine. That is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. What would you say, other than children's cough syrup, it tastes like? It tastes like, it tastes like a sort of a... A fruit juice concentrate. Mm. A fruit juice concentrate with maybe a tablespoon of ice cold water added, then stirred carelessly by an unloving hand. Mm. There's, de there's definitely neglect in the stirring yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ingested by a small child and then spat out back into your hand, put in the freezer for about five minutes, and then licked up off the rungs of the freezer. Yeah, that's I can taste all of that. Mm, mm. Can't I can't understand why um, why our family members like this. I'm definitely not too. understanding that one bit. Um, uh, very very slightly tastes a bit like mulled wine. Don't even try that. Well, if you let it run over the back of your tongue, <clears throat> which okay. has some of the... I'm more, going under again. ...more primitive uh, taste receptors, I understand. Oof. Do we have to finish it? No, we really, really don't. We really don't. Hmm. Because it's Christmas. I think I think that's going straight to the, uh, the old faucet. <coughs> yeah. And... If I had bought this, yeah. at this point, I would fling it into the fire. I would fling it into the fire. But you know what we wouldn't fling? But I don't have the right to do that. We wouldn't fling these lovely green glasses. Green Even glasses are better than the stuff in them. They are much better. Our Aunt Wendy gave these to our parents when they got married. And we have soiled that gift. So much. Year after year, over and over. I'm sorry, Aunt Wendy. I didn't know. I didn't know. I hope you're not watching. We hope you're not watching. Yeah. 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 Say goodbye to the kitty. Goodbye. It appears he pissed in a bottle and sold it. On a scale of one to five, I'd give this a zero. On a scale of one to five, I would also give this... I don't even think I could give it a zero. I think I'd probably give it a minus two. Mm. Because it's not even what it says it is. No. No. Isn't it? What do you mean? It says it's all these things that are not cough syrup, and all it is is cough syrup. Well, it didn't say it wasn't cough syrup, to be fair. But it said all sorts of things and that were And maybe Quinquina is supposed to taste like this. Do you think so? I can't be sure. All right, all right. I have to Wikipedia that. You've brought me up to a zero. There it is. The consensus of the St. John Wine Times for Dubonnet, Dubonnet. is zero. It's a big zero. Don't try it. Zero. Cool.